in this video we will try to understand the working of hydraulic circuit the arrangement of the various components of the hydraulic circuit is as shown in the figure this is the hydraulic pump unit which is consisting of a pump which is driven by the motor this is the pressure relief wall this is the pressure gauge or manometer then we are having the return side filter as shown in the figure this is the pressure relief wall this is the check wall which will open only in one direction so it's one direction wall then there are four ports a b p and t a and b these are the cylinder ports from the cylinder side and from the rod side then p is the pump port and t is the tank or receiver port so there are four ports are there therefore it is four by three and three positions are there left envelope mode then central position and right envelope mode and this is the solenoid operator direction control wall so four by three four for the four ports and three for the three positions left envelope mode central position and right envelope mode and as the left envelope mode is obtained by the solenoid it is known as solenoid operated direction control wall this is the flow control wall with the integral check wall this is the double acting cylinder as the fluid is admitted on both the sides of the piston then it is known as the double acting cylinder this is the pressure gauge or manometer indicating the pressure in the return side of the circuit this is the pressure relief wall and this is the check wall now the animation of the given particular circuit is shown over here so first we'll start with the central position how the circuit will work in the central position so suppose we are in the central position so as you can see this is the central position what will happen the pump will pump the fluid from the reservoir it will enter over here check wall is open it will enter in the pump port p from port p it will go to the port t and from t port t it will enter into the return side filter and from this it will go again back to the reservoir so this is our central position where nothing will happen now we'll go to the left envelope mode so which is already there so as you can see the pump it will pump the fluid from the reservoir it will enter over here the check wall is now open from port p it will enter to port a then the fluid cannot flow from this side because this is the no free position for the direction control wall or check wall then it will enter through this but restricted opening slowly and will enter over here and will cause the piston to move in the forward direction so forward stroke is now about to complete the fluid from the rod side will enter over here the pressure of the fluid will be sent through this sense through this pilot line and the spring is designed in such a way that this will now get open so pressure relief wall is now open and the fluid from this side will enter from p to t and it will go over here to the port b and from b to t and then again it will go back to the filter and from filter to the reservoir so this is known as the left envelope mode in the right envelope mode what will happen that we will see so as you can see this is the central position and now we are in the right envelope mode the pump will pump the fluid from the reservoir it will come over here the check wall is now open from port p it will enter to port b and from this side now this is not open so it will come over here and then as you can see the wall is check wall is now open and the fluid will flow from this side to this side and will cause the retraction of the piston and from this side it will easily enter over here because this is the free flow condition and then again from this side also it can enter and the fluid will come to port a and from a to t and again go back to the filter and then to the reservoir so in this way the working of double acting cylinder takes place in hydraulic circuit thank you very much for watching